found this video on Instagram of Kanisa basically crying. It's an interesting discussion for content creators who feel the pressure on social media. We're going to react to this and then I want to get your thoughts on it afterwards, right? Oh, yeah. Cool stuff. Let's get it. Hey, do you record the guys in the phone? I'm in video. He's recording the editor. For the bit of time. And then someone's gonna wanna take this away from me by just saying, oh guys, I think we should be honest. Can't be honest in our way. I am not gonna be down. That ain't fun and I'm lit. Uti kaku te wangi ba yo na. Take your five cent opinion and go shine it. When I up, you feel like it's off the shackle. Kaku's booze went back and you be honest. When na. E ya ko imbil. Yo. I am tired. I am tired of being greed. Can police run this as so not as so. Can in can kabaram kabaram can suck up this dude on the sofa. You can't help but feel like the pain through that video, though. I'll be honest. Yeah, it is quite so disturbing to watch. Yeah, not disturbing. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. It is quite heartbreaking to watch. It takes a lot to create content to begin with. So when you have people trashing what you do, it's not really an easy thing to take as a person. Because I think for any person, rejection is not nice, but like constant rejection is even worse. And constant rejection and hatred of something that you're doing and you're putting so much effort to is kind of not nice. As a content creator, you need to have a thick skin. Yeah. You're basically putting your work out there for, to be criticized. Yep. And there are very mean people on the internet. So we need to have a thick skin. People are going to talk trash about you. Absolutely. People won't like your content. They will make sure to let you know that they don't like it. Yeah. If they don't like you, they will make sure to let you know that they don't like you. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to focus on the good, I guess. Try to focus on the good. Yeah. Even if you receive a thousand comments, yeah. your music is good yeah. and your content is good. That one really harsh comment yes. is the one that will affect But let's be honest, the reason why we get touched by that one is because we've seen how much a person can influence a lot of people. A person can make you see something that you were not seeing. That one person's comment makes you look at something differently. So I think it's frustrating that it's not always just because you can't get over that one comment, but how much influence that one comment. Have you seen like someone will call out something in somebody's picture that all of a sudden a lot of people start laughing, but a lot of people yeah, actually, happens, you know? yes, those things happen. But at the end of the day, no matter how thick your skin is, you are human. So certain things will like hurt, they're going to sting. So you kind of have to brush them off, brush them off, brush them off. But they're going to hurt. And I mean, you putting yourself out there to begin with is already hard enough. And you putting yourself out there to entertain people, to produce stuff for people. And when it's the same people that are kind of rejecting you, it's not a nice thing. It's part of the job. Yeah. It's difficult because most people do not actually know how much work goes into creating content. Uh, it's exhausting. You can imagine. So you just yeah. need to look at it in a way that people just trying to bring you down yeah as well because they're not feeling good about themselves and i think the less you entertain bullies the better to be honest because when you keep quiet and you really don't entertain them they will stop they stop but now if you cry if you show them your weakness they mm. don't stop i mean we've seen that so many times with for instance Rosa Kaula with with she was giving into it when you give the bully something I mean, it's not going to stop. It's going to constantly happen. And some people are just trolls. You have to just accept it that there'll always be trolls out there. Just keep doing your thing. It's really not about them. And there are people that appreciate your content. You would not be still there and people still following you and people still liking your stuff if you were not good enough to be out there. Well, just understand social media. I'll take an understanding to it. There's a lot of trolls as well. You need to understand the difference between a troll and someone who's actually giving constructive Absolutely. criticism. 
Listen to those who give constructive And criticism. just ignore the trolls. Ignore the trolls and go on about your day. I also worry about that because you also putting work out there. We might be opening yeah. ourselves to get bullied, mm -hmm. opening ourselves to get commented in a harsh way. Yep. But I understand that we need to have skin. Yeah. Ignore the ignore. bad. Embrace the good. Yeah. And keep on uploading and at the end of the day we are making the content for people who appreciate it those are the people that we are actually doing it for unfortunately you can't just tell the people who don't like it to just remove it is what it is they also have a right to comment they have a right to comment they have the right to give their peace so we can't really avoid them so i think it's just that as content creators let's load shedding Lord shedding, Lord shedding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just got hit by low shedding. But just to conclude this video, if you're a content creator or you're putting your work out there in public, uh, expect criticism, expect trolling, and just understand that the internet is a very rough place. It's cool, you are killing us. Damn. <laughs> Just let us know what you guys would do if you are content creators and you're getting very harsh criticism. How would you deal with trolls? Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Love shading.